All right, we are the hockey show. This is the post game show following game two of the Stanley Cup final. The Florida Panthers have defeated the Edmonton Oilers four to one to take a two nothing series lead. Now, normally I would be ecstatic at this situation, except the Edmonton Oilers had a couple of dirty hits today, one of which was a kneeing penalty that sent Warren Frogel out of this game. He got a five minute major and a game misconduct. And Leon Drysider in the third period left his feet with an elbow to the jaw of Alexander Barkov. Barkov did not return to the game. He's not going to get suspended. And most likely, Alexander Barkov might miss game three. So I'm not necessarily happy about that, Dave. It's frustrating. He's yeah. the Panthers captain. He's their best player. He's been playing amazing throughout the playoffs. He's been their leader. He's been dominant defensively. A big reason why Leon Dreisaitl, Connor McDavid, Zach Hyman, zero, 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 nothing yeah. across the board. The NHL will take a look at it. I, I think kind of our negativity is fed off Paul Maurice's negativity in the post game because oh, yeah. Paul came in. He's I mean, we've been talking about all playoffs. He's fun. He's energetic. He's great to talk to. He came in there like his dog had just died. Yeah. He was upset. He didn't want to answer questions. He was giving short answers. Uh, the vibe I got, he, he he fooled me. I'm not inviting him to my poker game. It's looking like Barkley's going to miss some time. That's the bad news. So of course, the good news is the Panthers won. It's a post-game wrap. They're, they won 4-1. to one. They're winning the Stanley Cup Final 2 to nothing, and we're just like, bleep the world. Yeah, bleep the world. It's, it's not like it's the best uh, season in Panthers history or anything. You know, it's not like they've won two Stanley Cup Final games for the first time in franchise history. No. No, you know, we just lost the possibly the best player in the world because of a dirty hit. Not great. But uh, prior to the game, Jim Neal of the uh, Dallas Stars <laughs> won the uh, Jim Gregory Home Manager of the on. Year. Second year in a row that, well, actually the third time in four years that Bill Zito has been nominated and not gotten it. But he does not care. You know, no, no, he wants when, the other trophy. When he got snubbed last year, I talked to him afterwards at the NHL draft and I asked him, you know, do you care? Does it bother you? And he's like, all I want is that big silver cup. I don't think it bothers him, but it sure bothers us. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't make any sense to me, but hey, what, what, what are you going to do? And no disrespect to Jim Nill and what he's done in Dallas, but I just think Bill Zito has taken this franchise and completely changed it from when he arrived. Mm -hmm. He turned it from, you know, oh, yeah, maybe we're going to make the playoffs to we're in the Stanley Cup finals for the second straight year. I, I know all he wants is the Stanley Cup, but come on, give the dude some credit. Come on, NHL. Yeah, please. The Darnell Nurse, on, uh, Cody CC defensive parent got broken up and Cody CC got scratched. Didn't really seem to matter. The kneeing penalty, that was a major. And the Panthers blew that major because they took a tripping penalty and then the Oilers scored the first goal of the game on a four and four their first shot of the game their first goal of the game Florida came out night and day from game one Florida came out they were the better team from the start I think they got the first five or six shots on goal until Edmonton got that uh, four on four goal after the photo penalty and then the OEL trip credit to Florida they played well at the beginning they gave up a goal as we've seen you know throughout the last two years doesn't phase them at all mm -hmm. minute work let's go to work Five on five in that period. They allowed only seven shot attempts and three of those reached the net. So they did very well. Going into the second period, Nico Mikula almost owned gold himself. A backhand swept right into the pads of uh, Sergei Bobrovsky. But then the Panthers in transition went right down the ice. And all of a sudden, a one-timer, a blast from Nico Mikula made up for that one. And that's how the game. Yeah, he was just warming up for his shot with that little one on Bob, I, I, guess. I guess. But it was what we were talking about at that point was... It was halfway through the game when that goal went in. And while Florida was the best team to that point, the arena was quiet. It was very, like, chill. There wasn't a lot going on. And as soon as that goal went in, the switch flicked, and this place came alive. The power play to that point did not look great either. No, well, I mean, Edmonton's had an amazing penalty kill. It doesn't get talked about as much, maybe, because their power play has been so awesome. But Edmonton had killed off, I think, coming into the series, like 29 in a row or something. It was up to 34 until something happened in the third period. The Edmonton Oilers had yet to have gotten a high-danger chance. That's three consecutive periods, if you go back to game one, with no high-danger shots. When Florida gets their game going clearly we've known that they've been a good defensive team we didn't know how good but now they're shutting down the best offensive players in the world so pretty damn good Evan Rodriguez in the third period had a pass blocked and somehow the puck ended up back on his stick and then he fired it on net and that got passed to a skinner quick shot right over the blocker of Stuart Skinner Evan Rodriguez Johnny on the spot and we talked about it before the game we were talking about which Panthers we thought could have a good game and said Evan Rodriguez people might be sleeping on him he's on that second line with Sam Bennett and Matthew Kachuk that line has been great and Evan Rodriguez what a period if you're sleeping on Evan Rodriguez wake up everybody because he scored again yeah he ended up scoring on a tip a one-time tip he's been great passes to set him up today 
Like, he had his own on, on the first goal. But I think it was Anton Lundell that set him up on the second one. The way that this team plays, it doesn't matter who's on which line. They switch around a lot. You know, Rodriguez played on the third line a bit. He played on the first line a bit. Now he's out on that second line. Vladimir Tarasenko has moved up and down the lineup. He had a point tonight. The synergy on this team, the way that they've moved on different lines throughout the year, and now it's all coming together in the playoffs. I just keep thinking about that damn Barkov hit. Yeah, going back to the dry side of penalty, that should have been a major. He left his feet. Yes. It was an elbow right the to the head. That should have been a major. And they got it together. The refs all talked about it for like a good 90 seconds. It was a long conversation, and I'm not sure what the conversation is. Like four guys, eight eyeballs looking at that hit. It seemed pretty clear from the hit. Then after watching the replay, it just got worse. But no, I was going to say, hopefully the league takes care of it, but I, I don't think any of us are expecting that. No, it's probably not going to happen. The thing was, they called it a minor on the ice, so there was no review. Exactly. That's what I didn't understand. Call it a major, and if you can look at it and get it right after the fact, fine. At least then you have a chance. This way, they didn't even give themselves an opportunity to get the call right. So the penalty kill streak ends at 34 after the Rodriguez power play goal. Aaron Eckblad ended up with a empty netter to seal the deal to give the Panthers a 2 to nothing series lead. And I'm looking at the stats right here. They ended up with a high danger chance in that period. Period. One. One in the last four periods. The Panthers ended up with eight total. 0 for 4 on the power play. Edmonton, the Panthers penalty kill, has shut them down in the first two games of the series. Seven for seven. We talked about the Edmonton special teams coming in. Clearly, we're talking about the wrong team. This is where we are right now. We are going to be without Alexander Barkov for I don't know how long. Possibly, probably, hopefully not. The mood's not great. And considering they're up two to nothing in the Stanley Cup final, what the bleep? What the bleep? Yeah. What the bleep? Panthers up two nothing to go to Edmonton in three days because it's gonna take a long time for them to fly. I wish I was happier right now with a two series two nothing serious lead, but I'm pretty angry. David Drock Hockey News. We will see you on whenever the hell they play next. Bye.